Before starting with technical question series, be ready for below five questions that are very commonly asked. Question one: Tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. Question two: Why do you want to work with our company? Question three: Why do you want to left your current company? Question four: What is your greatest strength and weakness? And fifth question: Can you provide an example of a challenging situation you have faced and how you handled it? what are the daily activities of production operator in pharmaceutical industry the daily activities of production operator in pharma industry includes governing and clean room entry equipment setup and pre operation checks batch manufacturing process execution in process quality checks documentation and compliance equipment cleaning and change over troubleshooting and maintenance support communication and coordination and safety and compliance important question how do you handle equipment malfunctions during the manufacturing process in pharmaceutical industry here are the five steps that are very commonly followed in case of equipment malfunctioning step 1 immediate stop stop the manufacturing process to prevent product damage or safety risk step 2 notify supervisor inform the shift supervisor or relevant personnel about the issue step 3 troubleshooting inspect the equipment to identify the cause of the malfunctioning step 4 coordinate with maintenance team involve the maintenance team to repair or replace the faulty components as per sops step 5 that is the final step record and resume document the incident in the log book and ensure all checks are completed before restarting the process what is bmr and log books in pharmaceutical industry bmr that is batch manufacturing record is a detailed document that records all production steps materials used and process parameters for specific batch of pharmaceutical product ensuring compliance with cgmp and traceability whereas log book is a record keeping document used to capture daily activities equipment usage cleaning maintenance and other routine task in a specified department or area of the pharmaceutical facility what are in process checks that are done during tablet processing and injectable processing you can refer below table for various process stage in tablet processing and injectable processing and their relevant in process checks the other tests that are not mentioned in the below table are also performed during processing as per the bmr or the process requirement what is gmp and cgmp gmp that is good manufacturing practice is a set of guidelines that ensures the consistent production of quality pharmaceutical products by controlling manufacturing processes facilities and personnel whereas the cgmp that is current good manufacturing practice is an updated version of gmp that focus on keeping practices current with recent advancements in technology science and regulatory standards what is api and excipients in pharmaceutical industry api that is active pharmaceutical ingredient is the chemical substance in drug responsible for its therapeutic effect whereas excipients are inactive substances in a drug formulation that supports the delivery or stability of the api such as fillers binders or stabilizers how do you check raw materials before starting production here are the six ways for checking the raw materials before starting the production first verify identification labels second check batch numbers third review cos that is certificate of analysis fourth inspect expiry dates fifth examine physical condition of raw materials and sixth cross check against specifications what are the key steps involved in the cleaning and sanitation process for manufacturing equipment step 1 pre cleaning that is remove visible residues by scraping or rinsing with purified water step 2 cleaning wash the equipment using approved cleaning agents or detergents scrub surfaces followed by thorough rinsing with purified water or water for injection that is wfi step 3 sanitation apply an approved sanitizing solution to ensure microbial control then dry the equipment completely how do you document daily production activities daily production activities are documented in log books and batch manufacturing records that is bmrs by recording process parameters material usage observations and any deviations as per gmp guidelines 
what is deviation change control and kappa deviation is an unplanned event or departure from established procedure processes or specifications in pharmaceutical operations change control is a systematic approach for managing modifications to processes procedures equipment or documents to ensure they do not negatively impact product quality kappa that is corrective and preventive action is a process to identify address and prevent the recurrence of issues or deviations that impact product quality or compliance what is the purpose of using disinfectants and how do you validate their effectiveness the purpose of disinfectants is to eliminate microorganisms and maintain a sterile environment and their effectiveness is validated through microbial testing such as surface sampling and challenge test against specified organisms how do you ensure the cleanliness of the production area at the end of shift by performing area cleaning as per the validated cleaning procedure and documenting the activity in the logbook what is the purpose of line clearance and how is it done line clearance ensures that the area and equipment are free from previous batch residues done as per the sop before starting a new batch why ss316 is used in pharmaceutical industry for product change parts the five reasons behind using ss316 as a product contact part are first corrosion resistance second high purity standards third easy to clean and maintain fourth its biocompatibility and fifth its heat and chemical tolerance what should you do before leaving the manufacturing area after your shift ensure the work area is clean equipment is shut down properly and logs are updated how do you ensure the equipment is free from residues after cleaning there are three steps for doing this step 1 visual inspection inspect the equipment surfaces joints and hard to reach areas to ensure no visible residues remain step 2 swab or rinse sampling perform swab or rinse sampling as per the cleaning validation protocols to check for chemical or microbial residues step 3 that is final step documented verification record inspection and test results in cleaning logs and ensures qa approves it what is the role of hepa that is high efficiency particulate air filter in pharmaceutical manufacturing first air filtration hepa filter removes particles microorganisms and contaminants from the air to maintain clean room standards second maintaining sterility hepa filter ensures sterile conditions in critical areas by preventing contamination during manufacturing third laminar air flow support hepa filter provides uniform air flow to protect products personal and the environment from cross contamination can you explain the difference between primary and secondary packaging for pharmaceutical products you can refer below schematic and table for differentiating between primary and secondary packaging the basic difference is primary packaging is coming in direct contact with the product that is it directly holds and protects the product whereas secondary packaging material is not coming in direct contact with the drug product and it provides the additional protection and facilitates handling what are the key hygiene practices you follow when working in clean room the key hygiene practices that are followed in clean room are proper governing procedure frequent hand sanitization avoiding touching face or surface unnecessarily maintaining restricted movements regular cleaning of equipment and work area very basic but important question what is ph full form of ph is potential of hydrogen ion at lower ph value solution is more acidic and at higher ph value solution is more basic or alkaline what are the different clean room garments you can refer below schematic for different types of clean room garments these are safety goggles cap hood face mask gloves coveralls boots or shoe covers what does alcoa plus stands for in data integrity alcoa stands for attributable legible contemporaneous original and accurate representing the core principles that guide the maintenance of data integrity emphasizing the importance of data traceability accuracy and reliability plus stands for complete consistent uniform and secure what are different equipment qualification test or stages 
you can refer below table for seven important equipment qualification stage or qualification test these are first urs user requirement specification second dq design qualification third fat factory acceptance test fourth sat site acceptance test fifth iq that is installation qualification sixth oq operational qualification and seventh pq that is performance qualification what is calibration and why is it essential in the pharmaceutical industry calibration is the process of verifying and adjusting instrument accuracy it is essential in pharmaceuticals to ensure accurate measurements maintain data integrity and compliance with regulatory requirements what are the key components of a batch manufacturing record that is bmr key components are batch information which includes batch number product name product code manufacturing and expiry dates other key components are material details line clearance production process details equipment or machine details quality control checks signatures and approvals and yield calculations what is qualification and validation qualification is the process of ensuring that equipment systems or utilities in the pharmaceutical industry are properly installed function as intended and operate consistently within specified limits whereas validation is the documented process of proving that processes methods or systems consistently produce results meeting predetermined quality standards and specifications what is the importance of documenting environmental conditions during production documenting environmental conditions like temperature humidity and cleanliness ensures compliance with quality standards it helps to maintain product integrity and traceability preventing contamination or degradation last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred in production department in pharmaceutical industry the commonly referred guidelines in production department of pharmaceutical industry are first gmp that is good manufacturing practices second iso standards third ics guidelines fourth us fda guidelines and fifth who guidelines don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry